All right, so there's a breaking news on our desk currently. I'm in Oka saying what we are learning is that Nigel Gezi is in police custody. We can't really vehemently say that Nigel Gezi has been arrested, but what we know is that he's in police custody. Now, there's more details into it. Nigel Gezi, uh, as you know, is a very controversial, uh, self acclaimed man of God, what kind of so, uh, but what has he done? Why is he at the police custody? But basically, we are picking up currently, so I just say Nigel Gezi at police custody because of. Just last year, 31st night prophecy, Aomaya. According to sources, know what we are picking up. That is the main reason why Minoka can say the police have hauled uh, Nigel Gezi to their premise. So, straight up, let me go into the details of it and why your friend is saying Nigel Gezi currently is at the police uh, prophecy. Now, <clears throat> according to what we are learning currently, you know, uh, the founder and the leader of the Prophetic Hill Chapel, uh, that is Nigel Gezi, you know, we receive an invitation from the Criminal Investigative Department of the Ghana Police Service. Uh, the invitation, you know, uh, if he Ghana Police Service, uh, by, you know, uh, according to sources, normal parties, uh, is in relation to prophecies, uh, uh, man of God, uh, uh, during the end of year watch night service ah um, yeah, yeah. Uh, recently uh, when i saw a prophetic hill chapel now more details into it as i just said prophet nigel gaze you know uh, he scheduled to report on and uh, to the cid headquarters in accra on monday 28 february 2022 to answer questions on his prophecy so um <coughs> for once this is not an arrest but an invitation but before then uh, let, let me my main thing about one show Basically, what the Ghana police do and the tactics we know of the Ghana police is that they would sassem non per se or more training say investigation yeah, yeah, yeah. they will tell you to come and honor their invitation. They will invite you to fairly one, two, three, and then they'll use force to come and arrest you. That is number one. Now, two, if you yourself you invite to now acquire like what they did to Abronian and so no, there's a probability say yeah, share not with him, mama, a vivid account of what is going on. It be some questions. The prophecies you gave, you said this is this and this is going to burn. Uh, you are referring to Ghana, where you will say, I can you prove where's your evidence? God told me, where is the evidence? Which God? It's not going to mean prove here. Yeah. The police will say they need to they, they need to detain you for further thing, which means they need to arrest you and the next they need to prosecute you and send you to court. So this is what really happened to Abronia and it's an Abronia court police, no? even though they invited him, no? he didn't go and went out scot free. He went and then he was locked down in prison. Uh, the next day he was, uh, they sent him to court. So we believe that it's going to be the same tactics, but the good news is Nigel Gaze, you know, he is, he is to appear uh, Monday, Bay, that's February 28th in court, uh, sorry, at the criminal investigative headquarters, the same place I brought your choir, one baby. Also. That is the same place. The information we are getting is that he is to appear based on the prophecies of Maya just last year. Now, according to the 2020, <coughs> the 2020 December watch night, you know, and the Ghana police, uh, or more statements or more they buy, they are saying, say, prophecies, uh, ah, a ban on the the likely and the, the probability is a cause fear and panic is yeah, very high. So, men of God or people conducting this 31st service should be very mindful of how and what they say because if they say something which falls out the law they will take them on and they will make sure that they will use the same law to prosecute them so this is what we are saying initially gave the warning now uh describing this particular criminal and contravening law no, the ghana police also said again say any person who falls out the person will be arrested it's in the banning and say or prophecy now causing fear, panic, tension, and so forth. Let me even provide you an evidence that you prosecuted. Now, uh, Prophet Nigel Gezi, he said, uh, we oh, issued a lot of prophecies last year, 2022, uh, 2021, uh, it, it spanned from uh, security, politics, governance, and others. I mean, no, and the governing and others uh, prophecies need be brief, you know, or or, or, or limiting it to a term BFN, Mufia, our case. Move in a crew be a will be being in a maniama, but I'm out for cancer, you know, in rhetoric in rhetorical terms. And I say, a friend, some more can you dig it deep deeper? A baby who said, Uh, your friend said this whole emotion thing he was referring to Ghana, but after two months down the line, the Ghana police, no, uh, Minoka say they've taken all the videos into account, begin all the information, but I say all the first night videos and the first prophecies somewhere, you know, they have videos that are looking into any person who fought this particular 
uh, directive coming from the Ghana police, they'll use the same law to batter them in quarter. Many can say, you know, this is what has happened. But in all of these things, I echo, you know, uh, who was recently arrested and charged with the publication of false news, you know, what the same Biaba party said, the imitation which came from the Ghana police service in regards to uh, to Niger Gaze, you know, is an act of intimidation. Now, the whole thing is directed to, uh, if anything, intimidate and answer put fear and panic in certain men of God that uh, they talk more to ND they talk more good about NDC. Uh, the whole thing is to make this government look good. So Osha and Samuel said, look, I think Ghanaians must rise in support of Prophet Niger Gizi against threats against threats and intimidation against him by this Akufuado led administration. He has just received a call from the CID office to report on Monday over over if anything some comments made during his usual church meetings. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. Bobi and San Ekai, on the Facebook page, Menoka is a Cry FM radio presenter. No? We know that he himself is facing one thing like that in regards to in some kind of case. Akufa do nire no ma ko top properties be ewo amako fast state lands ni mani ma he is in court facing this particular issue. Mabeka say uh, invitation to a year this particular Niger case. You know, it seems say uh, Akufa do right now is bent on offense arresting any person our uh, supporter. Uh, NDC. If you talk good for about NDC, if you talk bad about NDC, if you talk good about NDC, you have a show. If you talk bad about MPP, you have a show. What I say? So if you talk good for MP NDC, they don't like it. If you talk bad about MPP too, they will come and arrest. So it's like any people. Just look at the trend. Oh, you um, NDC. Bobi answer NDC. As a boss, more like an NDC person. Oliver Baka uh, uh, Wilson, NDC. Uh, Captain Smart, now NDC. Uh, if anything, uh, Nigeria is now NDC. That is why Obi said Sami Jeffy Baker said power is transit. Trust me, MPP is not going to stay on forever. The other year, Crow for win one day. If NDC comes to power, trust me. If you talk good about MPP, the probability said will also uh, come and take you on is very high. So this is the current trend. Of course, so in as much as uh, some of them, the Unyan, it be also a very important. You no, know, it believes that all of these things. You no, know, it doesn't really say good about the the free speech in this country. Trust me, IGP might be very big, but uh, uh, regardless, we we'll have elections, and trust me, it's not going to be IGP forever. People will come and take over. And the way he treats people should be very careful. In a way, say, uh, he needs to make sure that he's using the real law near the day. And yet, it's a brown near the day. Arresting, they come to pinpoint you, say, you are trying to play some time. He needs to handle all of these things with care. And we are not so few. Uh, this current IGP uh, should also, I mean, she also take time on some of these things, even though we believe that they are in the right sphere. And you need to take time because uh, what happened in response to the former IGP or core, you know, in the turn and the NDA, and he realized that he's wronged a whole lot of people. IGP or BD, and that's the former IGP, he realized in the turn and the NDA, and he had only got enemies, more enemies, and not people. And so people, or maybe not, people were pissed off how he conducted himself, the arrest and stuff, you know. And as much as you are just going by the playbook, you know, you need to be very careful because at the end of the day, you know, uh, we, the Ghana police service and our woman, you will not vanish. You are IGP, you will still be in service and trust me, uh, you take other key positions. So you need to know how to ask in, bear in case any other government but it won't be like, okay, you supported such a political party by arresting just a group of people. Yeah, they are the, that one will be bad. It won't even be good for his uh, finishing, career, maybe in politics or whatever. We don't know what he wants to achieve, but he needs to go by the playbook and needs to take this uh, very seriously and also you know, take, take his time. So, this is the news uh, in regards to Nigeria. Give you more updates.